after week, anger is taking hold in all levels of Greek society as unprecedented austerity measures take hold. Salaries and pensions slashed, deep cuts in the public sector, taxes up, just some of the medicine the population has to swallow to receive a new chunk of financial aid, and it's not going down well. Those who led us into this situation want the people to pay for everything. Their policies resulted in all this, and now they want the people to pay for what they did. The anger is directed at the Greek government, but also at Europe and the International Monetary Fund, whose rescue plan, many believe, has failed to bring about anything except more instability. In this popular Athens market, itself under threat of closure, Everyone fears for their future and that of their children. They gave us money when we needed it, and now they want to take it back with our heads. I had a loan of 150,000 euros and I bought a house. And now what do they want? The house, the money, or my head? George Vernikos runs the country's leading yacht sales and rental company. Even though the tourism sector has suffered less than most, he said his fortune has crumbled, among accusations of tax fraud often levelled at wealthy Greeks. He believes doing away with the euro would mark the end of a dream. We're the first generation to have a common economy and a common currency. Let's not forget that in the last century we had two world wars. So it's better for all countries to cooperate with each other, to help each other out, than to have wars or unfettered inflation or devaluations you can't control. I think the solution must come from unity and from the collaboration of all.